Hey there! Thank you for watching this clip on composite function. Composite function, all it says is function become a function of a function. So the way we do composite function is take, like, take a look at the out shell first. f of the function says whatever you give me, I'm going to do 2 times whatever you give me squared minus 5 times whatever you give me plus 6. So all I did is I copied the function form from what I was given. Okay? And then I'm going to put a g of x in there. So 2, if I give you g of x, I'll put in g of x into the function of f of x. And now from here, all I have to do is stick g of x back in there. x squared minus 4, the whole thing squared, minus 5 times x squared minus 4 plus 6. Okay, so once again, it matters quite a bit of which function goes first. The outside function, the first one, is the one providing the house structure, the shell of the function, if you want to put that way. All right, now from here, all we have to do is just simplify it. x squared minus 8, x squared plus 16, for this one, well, this is the fourth actually, minus Let's put a 5 in there, x squared minus 20 plus 6. Now I'm going to open it up, 2x to the 4th minus 16x squared plus 32. I just multiplied it in there. Minus 5x squared minus 5x squared plus 100. We're going to have a plus 6. Let's add it up. The reason I'm not writing them in the same line is because I know I'm going to be simplifying it. Okay, 1632, everything looks good so far. Minus is so keep on checking your work. This is minus 21x squared plus 138. That's f of g of x. Now, I will go ahead and set up g of f of x, even though this problem is not asking for it. Okay, g, function g says, whatever you gave me, I'm going to square it and take 4 away. Okay. Now remember, g of x was given as x squared minus 4. So you take the form of the function of g first, since g was first, and then you put f of x in there, because fx becomes the independent variable. Okay, from there, you just stick whatever fx equal to, to x squared minus 5x plus 6. So for our case, g of f of x, if on a test, your teacher asks this, then this is what you do. Okay. You're going to take 2x squared minus 5x minus 6, the whole thing squared minus 4. All right, hope this has helped you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me. Together, we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day. That sounds